Ask Reddit by former tadpole. They say to never meet your heroes because you'll always be disappointed. What is your celebrity encounter that goes against this rule? I've told a story before, but Robin Williams. When I got out of the army, I was working as a security guard. I was guarding one of those $500 plate rubber chicken dinner charity events, when I noticed a little hairy guy on the other side of the velvet rope about 10 feet away. It was Robin Williams. I didn't stare or say anything, I just went back to watching the crowd. When he got up next to me, he struck up a conversation. I was absolutely nobody and he was very kind. I've always adored that man. I randomly had a beer with Sufjan Stevens once. Very quiet and polite. I asked about his music and told him about my cooking and just food stuff in general. He says to me, you have a real gift with food, perhaps you should pursue that. A year later I was accepted in the culinary school of my choice. I graduated and had a successful career as a baker and pastry chef, for a few years until disability robbed me from this kind of work. Wold well, never done that without his kind nudge. Dude, sent him some cake. Michael Keaton he was filming a movie in our neighborhood. While all the other actors would run to their trailers between scenes, he would sit on the curb and BS with anyone who wanted to. Very down to earth guy. Some actors just love people. It's a great tray. David Tennant is another one who's known to do that well the rest of the actors isolate themselves. Adam Driver came to see us when I was stationed in Korea. Nicest dude, made sure to meet and talk with each of us that showed up. He went to Korea to go meet active military members? That sounds cool, I just haven't heard of that happening before. Is that a common occurrence? Rod Gilbert Mr. Ranger, 1982 half hockey player. I'd only seen his highlights as a kid. His number was the only one hanging in the rafters at MSG for years. Met him in the parking lot after a fundraiser golf outing I was working. Our cars were parked next to each other. He and I were about the last to leave. Wasn't sure it was him so I asked, never saw him in person before only on TV. He shook my hand and we chatted a few minutes. Like people do while changing outfits, she's having a beer in the lot after a round. We talked about hockey, family and work. He was more interested in knowing about me and my love of the game and the Rangers. He was everything built up to be. He pulled a 8x10 glossy out of a box he had in his car and began to sign. The pen poked through, and he wanted to sign a new one. I told him I wanted that one it was real. He finished writing with a very personal inscription. When he passed a few years ago it was different than the feelings I'd ever had over a celebrity death. That's a fantastic story, thanks for sharing. Dolly Parton. She's an incredible person. When I was a kid, my grandma was an in-home care nurse for a sweet paralyzed man. He loved Dolly. She was in town for a concert and someone had reached out to her. She came to the house and sat with him and my grandma for two hours. My grandma cooked and she ate every bite and sat around with them acting like anyone else who was visiting would. She's just really a lovely person. I've never met her but she still just amazes me. I've never seen her say anything negative and she is so humble and thankful. Mr. Rogers. I lived in his neighborhood during the summers, I really did live in Mr. Rogers neighborhood dart. He and his family were authentically lovely people. That's amazing. How lucky were you question mark? Weird Al and Fred are Mizzen. Both were some of the nicest, down to earth gents I ever met. Wow, I've never heard anyone say that about Fred Armisen before. Neil Gaiman was utterly lovely. It was supposed to be a signing only, no personalization, but he personalized both my books and my friends without us asking and was overall just very nice. I waited in line for two hours in summer relay heat to get him to sign my Sandman shirt. He was thrilled to see it, especially since it was so old. Quite a gentleman. 
Eddie Vedder is one of the nicest humans on the planet. Met him a few times and he is just so kind and warm and funny. And such a huge music fan. David Evans, Acker the Edge is the same. Vedder lives in my neighborhood and I've also met him a few times. He's a really nice guy. Tony Iommi, guitarist for Black Sabbath. He came in to record an interview at a place I worked, this was early 2000s, and he was nice enough to sign my copy of Paranoid. He opened up the gatefold to sign it and he quipped, oh, I expected some seeds to fall out of this. Just freaking made my day, especially since he was the main reason I picked up the stupid guitar in the first place. Saw them live in London about 10 years ago. Didn't get up close and personal but he's a fantastic guitarist. Also they were supported by frickin Motorhead. I wanna second the respect for Lemmy because he was just as chill working the crowd. Willie Nelson. After a long show in a big honker tonk bar, he stayed after to meet anyone who wanted to meet him. He did that at a show in Tallahassee a while back he played for nearly 3 hours and then hung out and shook hands and signed autographs I was super impressed. Robert Carlyle, he stayed at a hotel I worked at and come and chatted with me at the concierge desk and was just a genuinely nice humble guy. I have huge respect for all of Robert Carlyle's work. He's from my neck of the woods. Amazing to hear that outside of his work. He's just as respectable. Most of the cast of Lucifer, they're all lovely and so down to earth. Please please tell me this isn't sarcasm cause I love that show. Rick Astley. He is the kindest, most lovely guy. I got to meet him backstage as I had a connection with one of his team at the time and I hung out together with him and his band. He gave me wine and offered me toast. 10 stroke 10 would recommend meeting Rick Astley. Commenting just to ask if you have a link to a photo that's actually a Rick roll. Mike Flanagan, horror writer director. He was so kind and gracious and actually took the time to explain his intention with some of my favorite scenes from his work. I'll be a lifelong fan because of what a nice person he is. Literally saw him last night. And yes, he was very cool as was Kate. Never met him, but Steve Carell has a video where he explains why he hates Ryan Gosling. It's because in his free time Gosling spends a lot of time doing charity work. No cameras, not social media posts, no reporters. He doesn't do it for clout, he does it because he's a genuinely good person who recognizes how fortunate he is and wants to help others. Ryan Gosling is the type of incredibly wholesome person that makes you feel like you feel like shit because you see him and feel like you need to do more to follow his example. And that's why Steve Carell hates Ryan Gosling. Is that Carell being serious or doing a bit where he's talking about how great Gosling is in a way that makes fun of himself? Dave Grohl. Ran into him at the Northridge Mall all by himself and he totally stopped for a minute while I gushed like a starstruck 9 year old. Super cool guy. Shino Marino also. Hung out at the pool in Vegas before fire set and he totally just talked with me like nothing for a half hour. Both badass singers and super cool guys. Bumped into him, literally, at the Matador Bowl and spilled my beer. He said he felt so bad he came over to our group and hung with us for a while and bought us all drinks. He's a solid dude. Terry Pratchett on one his new book signing tours at a small bookstore. Really nice talk and meet and greet during the signing. Gayan Wilson, cartoonist, at a comic con. He took time to draw something for everyone in line. He talked with both my daughters and I have a drawing of them by him. Really genuine and nice person. New Terry Pratchett. Stanley he was so humble and loved every single one of his fans. He used to call me she hulk whenever he saw me. That sounds like it should be offensive aside from the fact that it's Stanley in which case it's an honorel MAO. Roddy Piper. I loved wrestling growing up and Roddy was my hero. Flash forward 30 years and I see him in a pub in Ireland of all places. 
I decide that I'm gonna go talk to him, which I wouldn't usually do. I get myself psyched up and tell myself to be cool and not be weird about it. I walked up, introduced myself. He grabbed my hand really hard pulled me in close to him and looked me up and down. I'm a big guy, and said with you by my side I could have taken them all. I giggled like a schoolgirl. He then chatted took a pic with me and was lovely. Fantastic memory. Ewan McGregor was as nice as you'd ever hoped for. Chatted about his brother and flying for a half hour, as easy as could be. Good ol' Obi-1 too. Nichelle Nichols, Weird Al, and his band. I've always heard that Weird Al is lovely. Mayor of my city came to my shitty ghetto and let me hold his hand and be way too excited while he was taking questions. Promised to clean up the place if he got elected and actually did. Betty White. Who'd have thunk it, right s. Met here at a charity fundraiser for a guide dog school and she couldn't have been more gracious. Took time to speak with most everyone in the room. Oh yeah, Charles Barkley is a pretty good dude also, 